Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. If you are new, thank you so much for being here as well. I hope you will stay and subscribe. My name is Josh and this is Josh Goes to Disney. So in today's video, we are doing a pin tag. Um, I was tagged by Disney Jess, which I will leave her um, channel information in the description box below. So go check her out and subscribe. Um, we, she messaged me, I think it was like two weeks ago or like a week ago asking me, hey, do you want to be tagged? Do you want to do a, like a summer tag? Um, I said, sure, I would, I would love to do that. I don't know if I have the pins for it, but let's take a gander and let's see. Um, so I just went through, uh, my 12 pins and there's three, there's three that are, um, not exactly what the thing says that it's supposed to be, but I don't have three pins that represent what it says correctly. So I took three pins and kind of just switched it to be an interpretation of what it says so um and also if you will notice um we're recording during the day today um and i have a giant window right there in front of me so the lighting is perfect today um usually i'm recording at night in my room um so i just have like the lights on me which is a little bit different but today we're recording with actual sunlight so it's a little bit brighter in here than usual um so there were 12 prompts. I have 12 prompts on here on this piece of paper. Um, you have one prompt for every month of the year. Um, so for January, February, March, and so on. Um, each thing represents something that happens in that month. So like January, the first one is new year, new pen, share your newest pen. And then you go on and so forth and so on. So we're gonna go and get started. Um, the creators of the pen tag, I will put their information in the description box below as well. So go check them out. Thank you for creating the pen tag. Thank you Disney Jess for tagging me. Um, so the first one again, like I said, is new year, new pen, share your newest pen. So the, literally the last pen that I picked up was this happy new year, Chinese new year pen. It's a limited release. Um, it is Mickey and Minnie with a dragon and it is a Chinese New Year pen. Um, it does have Chinese on the background and then Mickey is holding um, a flame and like a lantern and then Minnie is holding a dragon, which is kind of cool. Um, I just picked this one up like last weekend at Epcot. So it's kind of cool. Um, February number two is love is in the air. Show a pin featuring a Disney couple. Um, honestly, the only Disney couple pins that I have were Mickey and Minnie, and then this pin right here. This is a Can You Feel the Love Tonight pin with Nala and Simba. Um, I picked this pin up from the Character Warehouse for $3.99. So um, I am a huge fan of Nala, so anything that has to do with Nala or if she's on the pin, I always buy it just because She's my favorite. Number three is Luck of the Irish. Share an Irish or green pin for St. Patrick's Day. Um, I don't have that many pens that are green, but I did just recently pick up this pen and it is a group pen from the Marvel series. Um, it literally is only green. So I thought that was a cool pen to show. Groot is kind of green um, and it just says, I am Groot. So that's number three. Number four is Happy Easter. Share a pin representing Easter or springtime. Um, this one, I don't really, I don't really have a pin for it. Um, but I did decide to go ahead and go with the, yes, I went ahead and went with the flower and garden pin. Um, this is a springtime as much as you can think of springtime flowers and food and vegetables and animals and flowers and gardens all have to do with springtime. You garden during the springtime. So I thought it was a great pen to pick for the springtime pen. Number five is Cinco de Mayo. Do you have a three Caballeros pen or a Donald pen? Um, I do not have a three Caballeros pen because I'm not a huge fan of the Caballeros. 
Um, but I do have a Donald Duck pen. Um, this is an Arizona pen that I got from Karen from Karen's USA Adventure. It is Donald on a donkey. Uh, I'm guessing at the Grand Canyon. Uh, I think. I'm not 100 sure. Don't quote me on that. It's probably wrong. Um, but they're on top of like a rock, and then Donald has like a Donald has a camera taking pictures. Number six, fun in the sun. Share a summer themed pin. This is another one. This is two of three. Um, this is a pen that does not represent summer in any way, form, or shape, or form. But the land that this pen represents opened in June, which is in summer. So we're going with it. <laughs> this is a Toy Story Land pen that I picked up from the day of the opening of Toy Story Land. Um, when I went on the day after it opened, I picked this one up. Um... It opened up on June 30th, 2019. So I thought it was cool to represent that as the summer pin because it opened up during the summer. Number seven, July, let's hit the beach. Share a beach themed pin. And here's three of three because I don't have any beach pins. I don't have like a Caribbean beach pin or like a, um, Caribbean Beach um, resort pin or a like a Blizzard Beach pin or anything like that. Um, but I do have a baby Moana pin and she's one with the water and in her this scene, she's on the beach playing with a shell um, and she has the shell in her hand. Um, so <laughs> it's as beachy as it's as beachy as it's gonna get. So I went with it and. I hope it's good enough because that's all I got. Number eight is August back to school. Share a school themed pen. And let me just be let me just be honest. Who really has school themed pen? Because I can't even think of a pen that has to do with school anywhere, to be honest with you. So I um I kinda Twisted this one as well. Um, <laughs> I have a pop-up book pen for the Hunchback of Notre Dame. And you read books in school, so um, I kind of I kind of just chose this one because it was a book and you read books in school, so there you go. <laughs> Number nine, September. Welcome fall. Share an autumn pen. And I... I went with this pin. Um, it is a Happy Thanksgiving pin, but I went with this pin instead because um, it does have autumn themed all over it um, with Winnie the Pooh characters, and then there um, has a cornucopia right down there, so it was autumn themed. Um, I could have also used this one for the November theme because that one's a Thanksgiving pin, um, but it says Thanksgiving or food, and I had tons of food pens, so I went with. The, th the, the Thanksgiving pen for autumn instead of November. Number 10 is Boo To You. Share a Halloween themed pen. And I have my Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party from the Magic Kingdom, the limited release. Um, I did get this one from my friend Danita from Absolutely Fabulous. Um, she sent this to me in a box swap. I was super excited to get this because I was not able to go to the, to the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party this year. Um, I was only able to go to the Very Merry Christmas Party, and I really wanted this pen. Um, thank you, Zanita, for picking this up for me. Number 11 is time to give thanks. Share a Thanksgiving pen or a food pen. Um, and I have a pen that represents food more than anything. And it is the 2019 Epcot International Food and Wine Festival pen. Um, it literally says food on the pen. Um, it's not a food pen, but it is a pen all about food and wine. So, hello, I had to pick it. Um, it is from last year's, it is the pass holder pen too. So, um, it's kind of special. And then number 12, the final pen is Tis the Season, share your favorite Christmas themed pen. Um, and this is a pen that I just picked up. 
It is Chippendale with Dale looking inside of an ornament and his head is all giant. <laughs> Um, I did pick this up for the Character Warehouse as well for $5.99, so that was an amazing steal to pick up that pin for that price. Um, and I could have gone with the Very Merry Christmas Party pins, but um, everybody kind of shows those, so I went with that one because it's a lot more fun. So thank you so much for being here. That is it for my pin tag. Thank you again, Disney Just, for tagging me in that pin tag. Um, I did have a lot of fun. It was a challenge trying to find some pins that um, worked for every single month. Um, I have quite a few pins, but I I really only collect certain stuff. I don't really collect everything. So it was cool going through and trying to work around the rules to try to make a pin work. So that is it. Thank you so much for being here. If you enjoy these types of videos, make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can come along with my YouTube journey and join my YouTube family. And as always, make sure you hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. As always, thank you so much for being here and let's go to Disney.